One of the other thing, I'm hoping this, this is not too small because I'm trying to squeeze in a lot of things. The other thing I wanted to just point out is the absolute exquisiteness of the kidney. I'm going to do another case, which is what if I've got high filtration? Or what if I've got low filtration? This is just a beautiful example of how the kidney tries to maintain balance. I've got to get my paratubular capillaries on there again. What I mean by high filtration is we really got everything over here that's smaller than a protein. And so that means we got a high concentration of things over here. So we've got a lot of sodium over here. And we've got a lot of glucose and everything else over here, and a lot of water over here. Now we got a lot over here that we actually want to help get back. And the fact that we got a lot over here already naturally helps things back because now everything just by diffusion wants to head back in this direction. So we increase diffusion because there's a lot more over here. The other thing is if everything went this way, there's going to be less stuff over here. It's going to decrease the pressure over here. And so technically, an increased filtration We balanced by an increased reabsorption. So if for some reason we do force a lot of filtration, well, it'll be easier for those things to make it back into the paratubular capillary. So these things kind of balance out. If we have low filtration, it means we have less stuff over here. And there's a lot of it left behind here. So if there's less filtration, that means everything stayed back here. So we can draw it already in the paratubular capillary. So stuff like glucose is already over here. Well, in this case, we're going to decrease. I should have drawn my arrow small. Let's make this one really, really big. We're going to decrease diffusion. The other thing is there's a lot of stuff over here a lot of fluid, and that's going to increase the pressure. So anything that is trying to come over is going to have less drive. It's fighting the diffusion, it's got less diffusion, and it's fighting the increased pressure over here. So what that means is decrease filtration equals increase reabsorption. So I kind of wanted to point this out and everything over here just to show you the kind of the exquisiteness of proximal convoluted tubule filtration. But the main thing that I'm really trying to drive home is that, so, is that reabsorption depends on sodium. So if there's an imbalance of sodium, if there's a lot of sodium over here, sorry, if there's a lot of sodium over here or very little sodium, it's going to affect every other ion in the body. So increased sodium is going to decrease calcium because calcium has to come over this way. Potassium has to go over this way. So increased sodium is going to decrease potassium. Decreased sodium is going to increase all the other ions. So what I'm trying to say is an imbalance of sodium is going to quickly become an imbalance of many other ions. Calcium, potassium, chloride could be the amount of protein and vitamins and glucose as well. So this is one of the reasons sodium has to be so regulated in the body is because it has this huge effect on proximal convoluted tubule reabsorption. Thank you. I hope that made it clear.